Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at my Echo Mark I guitar. Uh, so I've got the Mark I and the Mark II in my model range. Uh, the Mark I is like this guitar here, which is traditional telly looks, and the Mark II is more of a kind of modern take on a telly, uh, kind of super telly. But today we're going to be looking at the Mark I, this guitar here, and as you can tell, it's all about the classic telly looks, with just a few small changes. So on the back we've got a tummy cutaway here, which you traditionally wouldn't find on a Fender telly. And instead of the neck plate, we've got fells to attach the neck, make it a bit less blocky. Uh, the neck it's joint itself is actually less blocky as well. We've made this a bit smaller. It doesn't extend quite so far this way as it does on a traditional Fender telly. And we've got a dual action truss rod in the neck instead of the traditional single way, one way. Uh, so the woods are quite different though to a traditional Telecaster. On this one we've got some interesting woods. Uh, we've got an Ambosia maple top, a uh, black accent in between the top and the back, and then got a nice one-piece figured English ash back, uh, maple neck, and a ebony fretboard. So you can see there's quite a clear kind of black and white theme to the woods and the hardware on this guitar, uh, so it gives a kind of sharp look. Uh, I'm going to show you so the woods in a bit better detail now, and then at the end of the video I've asked my friend Ian to record a track with this guitar so you can hear what it sounds like in action. So I mentioned this guitar has an Ambosia maple top. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, it's a type of maple which gets attacked by the Ambosia beetle. And wherever the beetle goes, it'll make these holes through the wood, which you can see. And wherever these holes occur, it'll leave this coloration behind, which because it leaves a kind of trail of fungus where it goes. Uh, so it gives us all these nice colours in the wood, otherwise it would all be just this colour here. Uh, so the cool thing about it is it's completely unique. Wherever the beetle goes, that's where the colour will be. Uh, so each piece will be completely different. And unlike other insects which attack wood, like woodworm or the boa beetle, uh, it doesn't actually damage the wood in any way, other than the fungus, which changes the colour. It doesn't kind of degrade the wood, it doesn't make it soft or anything like that. It just travels through it and leaves it unharmed. So for the pickups on this one, we've got the bare knuckle pile driver set. Uh, so these are a really hot set of pickups, uh, but they're still classic single coil rather than a humbucker. So they still sound like a telly should, uh, just a kind of a very powerful sounding telly. And then we've got a go-to six saddle bridge. Uh, so we've got full range of inter intonation on these rather than the three saddle ones. And we've got the CTS volume and tone, as you'd expect, and a three-way switch. Uh, for the fretboard, we've got a really nice piece of ebony. And this came from, I think it's called the Quellicam uh, project, which means it's basically responsibly sourced. Uh, so they, for every number of trees they harvest, they make sure they plant more. And then at the headstock, I've got a bone nut and go to tuners with the telly style buttons and I've burnt my logo into here rather than a decal on this one which I think kind of suited the build. Here you can see the tummy cutaway I mentioned earlier and also the black accent which runs between the top and the back. So here's that English ash back I was talking about and you can see it's got this really nice ripple figure going through it. Uh, you can see it in certain lighting better than others, uh, but it's a really nice piece with lots of character. Uh, up here we've got the neck joint I mentioned earlier. You can see it doesn't extend quite so far this way, so it's less of a flat section there, which makes it a bit more comfortable. And there's no neck plate, it's got the ferrules. And we've got the hard maple neck, which is kind of the traditional choice, which has been used for many decades now. So now we're going to hear how it sounds. Over to Ian. Thank you. 
that's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like it if you have, and do subscribe to see more content like this. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.